Yo, what's up everybody? It's KB here and uh, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make Windows 11 bootable USB flash drive and uh, this is very easy to do actually and uh, just in case if you don't know how to get the Windows 11 ISO file, I have made a video on that too. So I will put link in the description. You can go there and watch and learn how to get the Windows 11 ISO file. So yeah, now let's get into how to make a Windows 11 bootable USB flash drive. So I will put link in the description for this website. This is a Ventoy and we are going to use this program to make our Windows 11 bootable USB flash drive. And as of now, this is the only one easy and 100% working method to make a Windows 11 bootable USB drive. So once you are here in the website, click on downloads and here you can choose if you are using Windows, choose the windows.zip. If you're using a Linux, choose Linux one. So since I'm using the Windows 11 itself, I'm gonna choose Windows and click on it and it will take you to the GitHub page and here you can download the actual file. So it's here. I'm going to have to click on windows.zip and just click on that and it should download the file. And uh, once it's downloaded, go to the download folders and uh, you should see a zip file. You have to unzip it so you can use any program. I use 7-zip and by default actually Windows can also extract the zip. Click on extract all and it will extract. So I'm going to use the 7-zip and extract because 7-zip is faster than the default Windows option. All right, and you'll get the new folder. Click on that and click on that and make sure that your USB flash drive is already plugged in and make sure that your USB flash drive is at least 8 gigabyte because the Windows 11 ISO file is almost around 5 gigabyte. So if you have a 4 gigabyte of USB flash drive, it will not work. So make sure you have minimum eight gigabyte of flash drive. So once your USB flash drive is plugged into your PC, right click and run it as a administrator, just like that. And it will auto detect the USB flash drive. And I have only one USB flash drive on my system. So just in case if you have multiple, you can choose here. Uh, which flash drive you want to use. This is a 32 gigs of flash drive and you can just default don't do any settings. You can click on install but if you want to do some settings before you install the Ventoy to your USB flash drive you can click on options and if you want to change the language you can also click on language. So if you wish to change the settings uh, you can click on option and change the settings. If you want to have a partition style of GPT, you can go to the GPT by default, it's MBR. But you know, you don't even have to do anything here. Uh, just in case if it does not work and when you try to boot, it doesn't boot, maybe then you may wanna change it to GPT partition, but uh, by default, it just works. You don't even have to do any settings. So I'm gonna, uh, choose default settings. I'm not going to go over the options. I'm just going to click on install and it will say it will format your USB drive. So make sure you back up your data if there is anything on it. So click on yes and it will ask again, double check, click yes. And now it will install the tool when toy to disk tool into your USB flash drive. So now simply get your uh, Windows 11 ISO file that you downloaded. If you don't know how to get the Windows 11 ISO file, I will put link in the description for the video where I'll show you how to download a Windows 11 ISO file. So I have my ISO file stored in here actually. So this is the ISO file, Windows 11 ISO file. And uh, yeah, now simply we just need to copy the ISO file and go to our USB flash drive, which should be named as Ventoy when you install the Ventoy on it and simply paste it here. Just paste it. That's all you need to do. Once you install the Ventoy to your USB flash drive, you can use 
uh, this very easily. Like you just copy your ISO file to Ventoy. As long as you don't format your USB flash drive, you can put any ISO file into your USB flash drive and you can boot. So I'll give you the demo actually. So let it finish the copying, then I'll give you the demo. All right, it's uh, almost done, 99 and 100%. So it has copied the Windows 11. And now simply put your Windows 11 USB flash drive to the PC where you want to install the Windows 11. So let me give you the demo. I'm going to boot my laptop with this. Give me a second. All right, so this is a boot menu. Uh, and uh, here you will see UEFI Jet Flash Transcend. That is my USB flash drive name. So, yeah, uh, just choose your option. Okay, just like that. And hit enter. And it will boot something like this. And it will show you the ISO file that is available in Ventoy. So, this is how it works. And if you have only one uh, ISO file, you'll see that. So this is a Windows 11 ISO file because we want to install the Windows 11. So simply hit enter just like that and it will boot. And this is a Dell laptop, by the way. And uh, it will show the Windows 11 setup file. Just like that. And uh, here, uh, where is my mouse? Okay, <laughs> here. So this is like very easy. Uh, you can click on here. And uh, I have it uh, installed already, the Windows 11 in my laptop too. So this is just a demo for you guys that, uh, you know, this is like the best uh, USB flash drive tool to make a Windows 11 USB flash drive. So you can see this is the Windows 11 ISO and we got Windows Home, Pro and all that. The option so this is the windows 11 and that's it let me turn this off and this is how you make the windows 11 iso file and this is how you install it very easy i mean the easiest way to make a windows 11 or any other windows or linux uh, bootable usb flash drive so yeah, not only Windows 11, you can make, you know, any Windows or any Linux bootable USB flash drive using this. So it's amazing. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I will put link in the description for the uh, software website. You can go there, download the Ventoy software and install it and make your bootable USB drive. And uh, also I will put link in the description for Windows 11 ISO file, just in case if you don't know how to get it. So you can go there and learn how to get the Windows 11 ISO file. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.